Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with a Druid class video to show you how to how to obtain four appearances. They are the Lomi Un Umbra Claw, the Evergreen Dream Saver, Thriving Dream Talon, and the Lush Dream Stag Forms. Now, after we collect all four, we will head to the barber shop, and I'll show you what each of these looks like at the end of the video. Now, the first thing you want to do is head to this area right here of the Emerald Dream. It's just north of the Eye of Ashira on this little island, and inside a building up here you'll notice a guy named Talishir Groveheart, and you just want to click him. Greetings. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that he sells four silent marks right here. Now, the silent mark of the Dream Talon right here uh, will turn into the um, Driving Dream Talon appearance. Now, the si silent mark of the Dream Saber will turn into the Ever Evergreen Dream Saber appearance. The silent mark of the Dream Stag will turn into the Lush Dream Stag appearance and the Silent Mark of the Umber Claw will turn into the Lomi um, Umber Claw appearance. Now, when you hover over these marks, you'll notice that it says um, to use this, you want to channel at targeted Dream Talon or channel at a specific animal and attune the mark to their forms. Now, this is how you have to turn these marks into appearances by attuning yourself and challenging, channeling this mark onto specific animals usually it'll take around 10 attunements before the mark is changed to the appearance and then you will you'll get the the form that goes into the barbershop after you learn it now so now that i explained this let me show you where all these animals are located and how the process works all right the first attunement that we're going to do are on the dream talents here as you notice right here, the, the silent mark of the Dream Talon, we gotta tune this to Dream Talons. And also in this area are the Dream Stags. So the Dream Stags are right here, and here are the Dream Talons right here. Um, they are located right down here in this area. I'll put all the, the coordinates and waypoints in the description below. Now, once you get on a Dream Talon here, here's a little trick you can do is once you attune it right here, you'll notice that he gets a buff right here. So you gotta wait five minutes. Usually you gotta wait five minutes, but if you pull aggro on this guy right here and run it, run away, or even if you break contact, like if you shadow meld, um, you'll notice that the buff falls off. So you can just redo it again real quick without waiting for the five minutes. So you could do it again and um, a tune like this. You'll notice the buff goes up there and then you can, you can, um, break contact again here and, and, and the buff will fall off but you're already attuned to it so it, it, it doesn't matter so you notice that the buff falls off now you can do that with all these so here are the dream stags and you just want to attune to these dream stags also so you can go back and forth here um there's quite a bit uh, on both of these so like you notice here, there's two Dream Talons that we can attune to. And another right here. So that's two more attunements. There's one right here. And you gotta do this about 10 times. After you do it about 10 times, then um, this mark will turn into a an appearance so um let me keep attuning these and when it turns into an appearance i'll show you and we'll be right back all right so we got the uh appearance right here as you notice our dream talons that was pretty easy it only took about 10 10 attunements and especially after breaking contact and and breaking aggro and running away uh the buff dropped off and we got it pretty quick so this is what the mark will look like and then all you got to do is you, you just learn it at the end so we're going to attune these, like I said, in this area right here is the Dream Stags too. So we're going to attune to these Dream Stags and then we'll be right back. All right, so we got our other appearance, the Lush Dream Stag and the Dream Talon in that area, in this area right here. Now I'll take you to the next area where the Dream Savers are and it's, it's right up in here. So we'll get there and we'll be right back. All right, so we made it to this area right here is where you want to go. And this is where the uh, Dream Savers are. And they're just floating around right here. So what you want to do is just make sure you get your, your silent mark here. 
and you just want to tune to these. So this will, like I said, it'll take you about 10 times and then you'll, you'll get the appearance. So we'll get 10 of these and then we'll be right back. All right, we're coming up on 10 here. So we'll just attune to this Dream Saver here. And we should be... Let's drop aggro on that guy real quick. So our next attunement should uh, should give us the the mark here. And there it is. So yeah, it took about ten. So we'll go to the last one, the Umber Claws, and I'll show you where those are located. All right, the location where you want to go to attune yourself with the Umber Claws is right here in this area right here. Uh, you'll notice that they're they're like they're right here, so they look like this. And there's a couple of them around here. There's one here. There's there. So that's three. Um, so just fly around this area right here, and you'll run into them. So we're gonna attune ourselves to them. Uh, tune about 10 times and, and get that appearance and when we do we'll be right back All right, so if my math is right this attunement right here should give us um, Our appearance or maybe this one right here <laughs> And there it is so now that we got all four we'll head to the barber shop and I'll show you what each one of these looks like all right, so we made it up to the barber shop. We learned all four of the appearances. So I'll show you what they look like now. The first one that we're going to look at is called the Umber Claw, the Lomi Umber Claw, and it's a uh, it's a bear form, and it looks like like this. This is what it looks like right here. And then the next one is called the Lush Dream Stag. So we're gonna go into travel form here. And the Lush Dream Stag looks like, like this right here. So it's called the Glade Heart. And the next one will be the Thriving Dream Talon, which is, is another travel, travel form right here. And it looks like this. It's white and green um, Dream Talon right here. And, and then the last one is called the... It'll be a cat form, and it's called the right here, ever evergreen uh, dream saver. So that's what it looks like. So that's how you get all four of those appearances. Hope this video helped, and good luck with your appearance collecting.